Young Dolph keeps it super real. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to advertise on the channel, it's JordanTowerMedia at gmail.com. Well, breaking down this interview with Young Dolph on The Breakfast Club, <laughs> he got real about Yo Gotti, okay? And he kept it really, he made a lot of good points. Like, Yo Gotti, when he was asked about this, he got his phone out and said, yo, read the last text message from Young Dolph. And that's a 2012 text message because that's when Young Dolph uh, was a free, well, he's, he still is a free agent, but Yo Gotti was actively trying to sign him because Young Dolph was heating up, okay? Now, Young Dolph denied uh, joining CMG, but Young Dolph made a good point. He's like, from 2012? How lame is that? What? He's acting like kind of feminine. That's what Dolph said. He's acting a little feminine. You're like, text me from 2012. Like, I can't even keep up with a, a bitch from 2012. I ain't got no girl number from 2012. I ain't got a pair of shoes from 2012. I ain't. I don't know. You know what I mean? But to respond to that. Now, that's a good point. Why? Like, that's not where this originated from. But Yo Gotti showing that that's what really made him mad right there. That, that's what made him mad, that Dolph wouldn't sign to CMG, so he didn't have control of everything pumping out of Memphis. Like, look, at every he's gotten everybody else coming out of Memphis. Black Youngsta, On Fire, CMG. Uh, Moneybag Yo, uh, Fire, CMG. Uh, Zedzilla was on fire. Then he had uh, Starlito, but, you know, and he exposes that Gotti downplayed Starlito and Zazilla, his artist at the time in 2012, saying that he has to hold their hand like babies. And then that's why he want to sign Young Dolph. 2012. That's when Young Gotti was trying to sign Dolph. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, text message you showing y'all that from all this back and forth, back and forth for a year and a half, two years of, oh man, we need to sign Dolph. That's it's like... I don't know. It's like I always knew the situation is a little weird. And it's like he, Dolph also says that this is all over a girl. This is all over Gotti's baby mom, that they he messed with Gotti's baby mom. And Gotti is just going back and forth over a girl. But it's really also because Dolph didn't sign to CMG. I mean, let's keep it real. You know, like I like Gotti. I like Dolph. But like this is corny. This whole beef is so corny. He said something about, I guess it was something about. A feature, like oh, I ain't do it. He didn't do a feature or something, you're right? You said he asked you, he, you asked for a feature. Listen, yeah. man, on oh, my little boy and my little girl, man, he come to me talking about let him get on, on the song. Know what I mean? Are oh, you want me to get on this song? So, so, I'll send it to me. Send me the song with the open verse. Know what I mean? Now if it was the other way around, where I'm trying to do. You got to think this back in the day where I... And Young Dolph back then, I remember him dropping bags on artists, okay? He was dropping bags on Gucci, man, 2 Chains, Drumma Boy, Z uh, Zazil, uh, not Zazil, um, Zaytoven, I mean. You know, he was dropping bags on people. He was getting everything he wanted with his own money. So he would have paid Gotti for a verse. I don't really even know the game to know nothing. All I was doing was just pulling up on everybody with a bag. As Two Chain, as Gucci Man, as Drummer Boy, as Zay Tote, as A Boy, as everybody, all of them got stacks from Dolph. Now, it he goes on later in the interview where, you know, Gotti had called him in uh, to to meet up with him through his manager Pepper, and th when Gotti threw Zedzilla and Starlito away, like, oh, they they're like babies. You're not a baby. You 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 can like, you can do your own thing. You're a hustler. Uh, Dolph said, yo, I was done with him. Because, like, how are you going to throw your own peoples away? I would never throw my own peoples away. You know, like, and that's true. It's true. It's true. You know, it's like, he's making a lot of good points. And, you know, they should just both move on. Because I love Gotti's music. I love Dolph's music. But this just ruins everything, honestly. You know, like, and it's them keeping it alive, not the media. It's really Gotti keeping it alive and, you know, Dolph having to respond to it. I never heard Dolph really disrespect Gotti before the problems happened. Anyways, what do you guys think about this? Uh, I'll link the interview below. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to advertise on the channel, it's jordantowermedia.gmail.com. I appreciate you guys. I'm going to check you guys out in the next video.